Let's now get an analysis on the Kenya ICC issues, and we are joined live here in the studio by Edgar Kavulavu, the an, an advocate with the International Commission of Jurists Kenya chapter. Uh, Edgar, welcome to Africa Live this evening. Did the UN Security Council decision, though, on the Kenyan ICC case, on the African Union deferral bid, come as a surprise to you? Not at all, because this is the, the third time that Kenya has tried to have the case of deferred at the ICC. And again, the, the Kenyan government did not uh, prove to the, to the world that indeed uh, the cases going on at the ICC will cause a security threat to the region. Well, w when you look at uh, what's coming out of the UK uh, today, Britain seems to be saying that they support uh, having the trials of President Kenyatta and his deputy by video link. Is that a change of heart? Is that a change of tack from, the, from Britain? I don't think it's a change of heart because uh, they are tabled before the, the decision to the United Nations Security Council that tabled that um, a proposal to have cases proceed by video link. So I do not think there's a change of heart. Well, it doesn't seem to you like it's a change of heart, but uh, you know, the whole deferral bid, as you mentioned there, this is the third time Kenya is putting its case before the, uh, the, the United Nations there. But now African members are also pushing uh, for amendments to the uh, Rome Statute there. Do you think they're likely to succeed? I, d I don't think they're likely to succeed, especially on the most pertinent uh, articles. For example, the article on immunity of uh, head of states. Uh, those are some of the articles that form the cornerstone of the, the Rome Statute. So I don't think really uh, they're going to succeed on that bit to have those articles amended. Kenya and Africa have called what came out of the UN Security Council a betrayal. Is the world seeing it as that though? I, I think that the, the, the opinion is divided because there are certain African countries that support Kenya and the others that support international criminal justice and also the plight of victims. So those countries that support Kenya, for them it, has, it is seen as, as, a, as a betrayal. And also having had other countries abstaining from voting, I think it has been seen as an, as an act of cowardice. An act of cowardice, is that how the world is looking at it in general? For some of the African countries. But looking at the greater picture, you find that uh, countries such as uh, the UK had their own reasons, for example, uh, the plight of victims. So uh, op actually the, the opinion is divided. All right, yes. Edgar Kabulabu, we'll leave it there for the moment, but thank you for joining us here on uh, Africa Live.